What up, my people? Hope everybody's enjoying their weekend. Do me a favor, hit that like button down there. That'd be appreciated. Absolutely very important to the channel, and it doesn't phase you guys one way or another. Make sure you check out dnkknives.com, and uh, if you do purchase something from DNK, use this coupon code behind the edge 10 to find yourself 10% off. Uh, also, check out Green Valley Custom Knives if you are in the area. Also, he's working on a website, so that's pretty good. Oh, DNK, they got sizzle now, man. So that's a very good thing. Also, if you would like to ch support the channel, there's a link to Patreon in the description. Uh, or you can join the My People channel membership where I do uh, frequent giveaways for Patreon, frequent giveaways for the membership, and just general giveaways for all subscribers. And uh, that patronage helps me be able to do that. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about a classic out the front. Um, Heretic Knives have been around for a number of years. And uh, they're often left out of the uh, out the front. Uh, um, what's the word? I, I can't think of the word. The uh, When you're talking to somebody, the conversation. There we go. Everybody can tell I'm an absolute hillbilly. Uh, this is the Cleric. This is one of their early models. This is the original Cleric. Um, a buddy of mine at work, uh, we was talking about knives. I knew he liked them, but he didn't really say much other than, you know, they're pretty cool. But he, uh, one day we're sitting there uh, about to go in to a job site, and he's like, man, I got a few knives at the house. Uh, if you want, I'll sell them to you dirt cheap. And, uh, <clears throat> so I'm thinking he's got a couple Walmart knives, maybe, uh, uh, an SOG or a buck or something like that. He brings me a few knives and I said, dude, you don't even know what you got here. He had no idea. I don't even know where he got them. He said he doesn't remember where he got them. Anyway, there's a couple of them. This is one. So he gave me a smoking deal on it, which he had to, cause I'm broke as heck. And, uh, I took it off his hands, so... We're going to talk about this knife today. Um, we have a three and a half inch blade dagger ground. They call it the bayonet, but it's a dagger, let's be honest. And a very long handle that is five, almost five and a half inches long. So you have an extremely long handle with a not so long blade, which kind of looks funny. But when you're holding it, uh, it kind of makes sense. Not too bad. Um, the action is... Pretty stiff. This thing feels like it's just about brand new, uh, and it rockets out pretty well. We have a double hollow ground 154 cm blade, um, which kind of shows the age of the knife. 154 cm is absolutely fine in this uh, in this knife, especially um, because this knife's just really designed for one thing, um, and that is self defense, in my opinion. It'll cut, and uh, with that hollow ground, it'll cut pretty well. But since you have the the uh, dagger grind there, you can't rest your finger to get any kind of purchase. So to me, this knife is not practical for anything but self-defense. But it's still pretty cool. We have an aluminum chassis. Uh, no markings really other than right here and a little bit on the blade which I think is cool. I believe it has the titanium nitride coating. I don't think it's DLC, but it was well done. And uh, that hollow ground is actually quite, quite thin. Um, I have already talked about the Cleric 2 on this channel. It is my favorite out the front. Uh, in general, it's an excellent knife. It kind of looks funky and it is massive uh, as far as length wise, but uh, I really do like it. Uh, this one has the top side button. What well, I say top and side button. Um, that is stiff, but it works okay. And it's comfortable deploying and retracting. And we have a H clip. I don't know what to call that. The clip is funky. And uh, it does work okay, but it's not my favorite. I don't particularly care for the way it looks. Um, it is completely deep carry. It is inset into the chassis. But it does have some uh, screws sticking up there. I'm not sure why they didn't just go with the flatheads on that. But again, this is an early model. So they might have just been working out the kinks. Uh, you don't see a lot of these. Uh, which is strange because they made quite a few as far as I could tell. 
and uh, beers are absolutely available in many places. Uh, Terry has some at Green Valley. Uh, DNK has one of the best heretic um, uh, selections that you can uh, find out there. So he has tons of stuff like that. I don't know if he has any of the original clerics, but he does have some cleric twos. So <clears throat> heretic is uh, owned by the son of Anthony Marfion. Um, from Microtech Knives. So he branched out on his own and went out and started making his own knives and he does an excellent job. Um, some of these earlier models, from what I understand, were hand ground. This one might not have been, but it kind of looks like it to me. It is not exactly perfect um, as far as being um, symmetrical. So I'm going to guess and say this one maybe have been hand ground, but I do not know that for sure. But I do know that some of the earlier models were hand ground. Uh, the Hydra, which was the single action out the front, was an absolute beast. Really cool knife. Um, but I like Heretic. I like their knives. They are 100% made in America. And um, I don't know. They're priced well as as well. This one's only like 240, 250 bucks for a full size out the front. That's gonna do the job just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, sorry I haven't had much uh as in the way of content lately. I haven't had really a lot of knives to uh show off. And I just don't want to go out and make a bunch of uh content for no reason whatsoever. Because you know. Nobody wants to watch a video that was that really didn't make any sense. But I'm thinking I might trade this for something. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it around for a while. I might keep it and carry it because I got a good deal on it, and uh, it's an excellent knife. Might just give it away to you guys. We'll see. I am uh, curious as how uh, well this thing cuts, so I might sharpen it up. It is pretty sharp, but it's not exceedingly sharp. Um, I'm curious on how well it will cut and I might do some cut testing because the steel the 154 cm has been around a very very long time but it's not used on much anymore except for um, mostly budget knives which is a shame because it, it did just fine it, it's a fine steel especially in this application yeah it's dull as a butter knife we're going to sharpen that bad boy up <clears throat> Action is very snappy, very good. Has a little bit of a ting sound. Let me see if I can get that. You can hear the spring in there. There it is. But it's not uh, aggravating, and it's you know it's not irritating like some of the uh, some of the Chinese cheaper models, like the uh, Lightning out the front, which is made in Taiwan. It's got a really really pronounced. Uh, twang to it whenever it opens and closes um let me know guys in the comments how you feel about this knife do you have one how you feel about heretic in general um also rank the top three um out the front companies in your opinion and that's probably all i got for you guys today i will do a follow-up video on this i'm going to try to carry it for a week i want to see if i can edc this guy and with nothing else in my pocket i am going to have to sharpen it though because it's just entirely too dull and uh, I might do a video on uh, the practicality of a uh, out the front as an EDC. All right, guys. Remember, life's short. Don't be a dumb cunt. Be good to each other and love each other. Uh, yeah, that's it. See y'all later.